I'm just gonna make sure that I'm on now. <laughs> So the stream looks like it's up now, at least. Mm. Okay. Hopefully it didn't freeze for me. I mean, well, it, it did, but hopefully it didn't freeze for anybody, uh, anyone else. Okay, cool. We're up now. As opposed to yesterday and earlier today, we're not. Or we were not, I should say. We are now. And we are playing some Breath of the Wild. Let's go ahead and get some music in here just so. <clears throat> it's because the only music in the background is Breath of the Wilds, which has music in it, obviously, but it's not. Uh... It's not very major here. All right. So today we're going to play some more Breath of the Wild, of course, and uh, we can... I'm actually over in the Zora uh, Tower, which we're not going to do the Zora stuff right now. Uh, we need to go to Kakariko Village, which I've already been to. I got to it off stream, but I didn't talk to input yet, so I want to do that on stream. And we have eight spirit orbs, so... Yeah. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the direct uh, the other day. There will always be people who don't like the directs because, you know, they didn't announce something that they were really hoping for. Um, but, I mean, that'll happen. That'll happen basically all the time. Yeah, I, um, I enjoyed, I'm going to enjoy playing Skyward Sword in crisp, clean HD, uh, 60, 60 frames per second. I'm going to love that. I'm going to love, I'm going to love every minute of it. People who hate Skyward Sword can, <laughs> I don't know, kiss my ass, I guess. <laughs> There were actually some people who were like really upset about it. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it's true that like some people could. It's it's true that you know a lot of people wanted Wind Waker, a lot of people wanted Twilight Princess, but Skyward Sword deserves a, a remake or a uh, remaster on the Switch. Definitely, one hundred percent deserves a remaster. So. Hey, what's up, Tex? No, I didn't see that. When did they do that? What's up, Sexy Cabbage? How are you? Good to see you both. Move this chat in here just a little bit over. Yeah. Did they did they officially announce that or did that come from somebody else? 
com confirmed in a later interview. Oh, okay. Could find a link for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you if you want to find a link and, and put it in the chat, you can. But yes, I um I am very late to streaming because I had to switch my phone carrier around because um I used to be on my dad's plan because it was just cheaper uh for him um with his like business account and stuff like that and I am now on my own plan and everything so that took forever to do but it needed to be done so rumored oh okay I'm sorry I'll check out the link here while we're still chatting here claim insiders okay yep yep see yeah i mean and, and i hope that this happens i i do hope that it happens it's very likely that it could it's very likely that it that it will possibly uh possibly excuse me um but yeah yeah I am still like a sky a skyward sword though like I said definitely 100% deserves the the spotlight because it was just a good game like people hate it people hate it um uh, well there there are a there are a uh Mike's keeps going crackling let me see here with the broadcast fuck hold on Unplug it. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me hear myself here real quick. Oh, it's better now. Okay. Huh. I've never had that happen before since I got my new cord. No, I don't use a voice meter. I use um, OBS or I use um, uh, NVIDIA broadcast, which I'm going to look at right now. Hey, what's up, Demo Pog or uh, or horror movies, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you that you can't. Uh... Whoops. There that you can't uh, get your your thing there um your name changed end up with a crackly yeah that's exactly why i don't use voice meter actually um that's that's, that's why i don't use it uh because i i hear i hear about the issues all the time and i'm just like i don't want to deal with that so yeah but yeah i mean i i am hoping that it'll be a collection like we got with mario that that was kind of it was my prediction was for the direct was that we get wind waker and twilight princess on the switch within a couple of weeks and then skyward sword would be announced for later like i was thinking probably like june um so it's what july something so that's that's pretty close to what i had what i had predicted um but yeah, I we I, I think we kind of just assumed that uh, um, that Skyward was was gonna be coming. So, which I like I said, it deserves it. It deserves it. If we don't get Twilight Princess or Wind Waker, I'm fine. I have my Wii U. I'm fine. I can just play it on there. But I know a lot of people skipped out on it. I know. I know. Hey, what's up, Justin? How you doing? I'm making mental note. <laughs> I'm gonna think of a different name for the coming four months and then change to I Like Horror Movies. I don't like this name in the slightest anymore. Really? What it, What made you change it then? So I got my Wii U, but I also still have my Skyward Sword Collector's Edition with gold Wii, uh, Wii, uh, Wii Remote. Yeah, I have... Um, I think I did actually get the collector's edition, but I have no idea where I put my 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 gold Wii remote. I think my brother might have it actually. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I it it 
having it in HD though, like we did Twilight Princess and 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 um, Wind Waker, it's just amazing. I'm just I'm really happy with it. So, like I said, if we don't get anything else, I'm still happy. I'm not like I'm not like super ecstatic, but I am happy as 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 a Zelda fan. But I don't know. That's just me. I, I feel like I feel like a lot of people have too many expectations and they get super disappointed. Well, I mean, I had expectations, but it's it's one thing to have expectations and then be disappointed when something doesn't when those expectations don't happen, you know, just had dinner and got Toby a bath. Nice, nice. Partly because someone on Twitter has my Twitch name. But I don't like it. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. You could just do something like what I did with with your with your real name and 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 I don't know something. Just put a twist on 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 your real name. Or you could just put your first and last name like Justin does. Just boop. That's it. What's your name? I got my username now. <laughs> Which I mean, I don't always advise doing that, but it's 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 sometimes it's a lot easier. Now I'm going to use my IRL surname. Yeah, that's that that'd be my that be my that would be my biggest concern. Be something sexy to make me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Got bullied. Oh, oh, you got bullied for it. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that, man. My real name is hard for not duchies. My first and last name would be way too long. Well, you could like abbreviate it or something. I don't know. Or maybe take like part of your first name, part of your last name. Um, and to like put them together. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> take, take, take my words with a grain of salt. <laughs> just take, take, take all my words with a grain of salt. Cause as you, as you guys know, as someone who is bouncing between like, uh, between like three, um, uh, three or four names before you settled on one. I can't I can't really say anything. <laughs> so, you know, take literally everything I say in regards to usernames uh, with a with a grain of salt, please. <laughs> Do something with my nicknames, you know? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, you got Haru. Nice. Haru and her uh, psychokinesis abilities, um, that that magic, freaking amazing, in that in that level, in uh, actually pronounce that right? What do you mean, Stino? Do many do a lot of people pronounce it Stino? If it's if something is not English, I assume that the I is pronounced as E. Because that's usually a pretty safe assumption. If it's not English, the eyes pronounce his knee most of the time. In a, in well, I'm not I'm not gonna say most. I, you know, forget I said that. In a lot of other languages, um, in a lot of other ling and languages, thought it would be hard. I thought I just thought it would be hard because it is in English. No, I mean I can read not something that's not English. French is the only is the only language where I'm like, what the f what am I what am I looking at? But I mean, if if something is if something is written out in English lettering, I can pronounce it. I can read it. Is there like a like a fun Dutch alliteration? You do <laughs> maybe. Second you pronounced 
That is literally my name with it. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I gotcha. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like the name too. Yeah, just do something with that. Or you could put like a uh, like in in an English spin on it and and put uh, S T E E N O something. It might not even need like numbers or anything like that. Google Translate alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some it's like a different like version i guess if, if i was to explain it in like layman's terms like a different version of something i guess i don't i don't know the exact definition but yeah actually here you know what what is the exact definition of the word alliteration The occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of of adjacent or closely connected words. Oh. I guess I was I was technically wrong. Like rhyming, yeah. What am I thinking of then? What word am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a different word then. Hey, what's up, bearded? <laughs> Punch. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes. I'm not even going to try to, uh. What did you think it was? I thought it was like a different version of something, but I'm, I'm thinking of a different word. I'm, I got mixed up. Feminine fear in our words, but yes, <laughs> I'm sure they're they're not. Well, I'm sure they're words in some in some language. Or it's the acronym for Public Health of England <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> it's an acronym. <laughs> I don't know. I just googled P-H-E. Don't come punch him. Oh, yeah. That's not a real thing, is it? What, the public health of England? Like P-H-E? I don't know. I googled it. <laughs> so I don't know. It's called asking if two switch lights she got for... 260 was a good deal and i'm like who did you two switch light how much is this well i'm familiar with the switch with this the switches i'm not really sure about the switch light how much that is yeah switch light is 199 where did she get them and who did you who did she rob that's what i'm i'm wondering the exact same thing as you Okay. Yeah, yeah, every Fortnite place has, has alliterations. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed too. I, I have no idea where she would have gotten a switch, two switch lights for $260. Because they're 200 each i think left for like a standard thing that's insane that's absolutely insane all right what do you say we guys we, we get started i mean we chat all the time anyway so it's not like we need to stay in just chatting I mean, we're already in the category of Breath of the Wild, so... Alright, and, by the way, guys... 
I switched up my camera again <laughs> because I can't make up my mind. It does match the map, doesn't it? <laughs> Instead of young twins out there right now, really wishing they just cleaned their damn room when they were when they were told. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm over here by Lineru. Um We need to go to Kakariko, so we actually already I, I did the shrine earlier and that was next to Kakariko, so And yes, we are doing master mode for those that are wondering we are doing master mode. But what did, for those of you who watched it, what did you guys think of the direct? I'm wondering. I am overall like just pleased with what we got. We gotta go talk to Impa. Better than most directs I've, I've seen. A man? A, a man? Oh, hold up, hold up. This is weird. There, audio shouldn't be echoing anymore. If it was. I forgot I left the video capture on. I didn't watch it, but I do know what was in it. Hype for Animal Crossing, yep, yep. I need to, I still need to play Animal Crossing again. I still haven't played it. I still haven't played it since like actually almost this time last year. Or no, it was out in March. I played it for like a month. So it'd, it'd be like in April would be, would be a year. Most general Nani 3 Direct session. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My villagers are going to be mad. Yeah. Oh, huh, is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L Ling. Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Pie. Oh, my name is Pia. Phew, I got it out. I think I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. Yeah, I mean, I even I have a stutter, but I have no I have no problem saying my my name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your uh, excuse me your return ever since I was a little. Please, please hurry inside. I'm home. So. You're finally awake. This it feels weird after playing Age of Calamity. Time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Ah, uh, who are you again? This feels so weird after playing Age of Calamity to see her. Oh. What is the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you remember, you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see. So you've lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Yeah, because like seeing a uh, young Impa, like everybody who's young, young Impa looked like just like Paya. Like, I'm pretty sure they might have actually used that same character model. Maybe just like changed a few things. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred... In a sacred slumber. The round vignette border feels weird, like a pirate ship themed zoom call. Oh, the border around like the camera? 
I was actually wondering how that might look. Like in, hold on, what what would happen? What 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 does it look like with it turned off? Eh, I'm indifferent. <laughs> And then all alone, she, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she was just she wished to say to you. Get your ass over here! I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the present the princess's message. Oh. However. These words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much, excuse me, too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Um, uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready now. The words that princess that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yes, I am. <laughs> ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward and, uh, excuse me, with only courage and justice on your side. You you have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Welcome the back, history Demo. history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. I think I was pretty close with the voice acting. <laughs> with the passage of time. Each conflict yeah, we'll go ahead and turn the border off for now. I'll think of something better. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. So yeah, it's, it's hard to imagine that like everything that you see like in the land has been there for like 10,000 years. ...that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a... Didn't mean to make it seem weird. Ah, but it is weird. ...called Guardians. I didn't have much time to look out to, to test it out and make sure it looked okay with the game. I saw it against like a gray screen, so exceptional skill from across the land and thus the plan to neutralize ganon was because as, as soon as i got out of work i went straight to um switch over my cell phone plan and everything and then that took literally until the start of the stream upon ganon's inevitable return to hyrule the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians GameCube? More interested to s uh, what's inside the circle? It's just more of the same. 
hold on. Let me do. Uh, let me. Let me get this. Enjoy the scene. I've seen it before, so it doesn't really matter. So the game I grabbed was uh attacking the power juju this game I actually didn't get very far in this game because it was one of those games that um in the very beginning in in the very beginning they um they stop you with like every single tutorial message and I just was done I didn't get past the tutorial because I could not stand how often they stopped you. Whoop, didn't mean to hit my mic there, sorry. Throwback. Yeah, I'd throw it back in the store if I, if I, if I, <laughs> well, I mean, I could, but it's worth like two or three dollars now, but, um, you know. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold for revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of one of 10,000 years prior. Oh. Never heard of that game. Um, it's, it's, I've, I actually played TAC 2. I actually played a good bit of TAC 2. Um, and I never beat that one either. Um, but I, but I got a little bit further in it because I don't think it has like tutorials that just stop you. It's just like, it's it's one thing it's one thing to like have like a tutorial section in, in a game which is fine you know um if you don't include an instruction booklet but they literally did um but it's like it, it, th this tutorial was literally like press a to jump all right and then walk two steps not even not even not even a whole five steps i think it was like two to three steps and then it was like do this um and then you walk a little bit further and then it's like do this and you walk a little bit further and it's like do this again i'm like i'm done i'm done i was i was i was done with it so i i, I never got too far into it <laughs> so yeah but in the end despite our best wishes or best efforts and uh, careful planning we underestimated his power but yeah and i mean if, if you never heard of the game then i mean it's not surprising it wasn't a very popular game i don't think uh of course it was a player's choice i guess but you know i don't know i as as a gamecube collector i try to i'm i i keep everything that i that i get so you know despite our best efforts and careful planning we have underestimated his power oh yeah wait Justin, did you, if you're still listening, did you redeem a, th a, a game, a, a game review that I never, that I never did? I think you might have. And for that, I apologize. Um, I think you did PlayStation. If I remember correctly, I had you pick a number and I think it was like number three or something. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the divine beasts. That is what she said. And play a game with a friend, have fun. Oh, thanks, Demo. I appreciate it. Four divine beasts? The four divine beasts are the ancient Sh Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Va Medo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast Va Ruta. Can't be worse than Sonic. Talk to this person. <laughs> Loading screen. <laughs> I'm doing this task load screen. Let's do the task <laughs> No, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad, but, um, I would say that this was actually a pretty close, a pretty close, uh, that was pretty bad. Yes, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, oh my God. Uh, Varuta controlled by Mifa of the Zora. 
in the divine beast Va Naboris or Naboris uh, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo it would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you you must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon uh, 100 years ago and bring them back to our side Zelda trivia let's do it By the way, Justin, I, I don't know if you heard me ask earlier, but I think I owe you a, uh, a game review. Let's get our Zelda trivia up here real quick. And I think I, I think I remember what game uh, I was going to actually do once you said your number. So we'll, we'll do that one here in just a second. Let's see here. Uh, this one is kind of an easy one, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Just so, just so people that don't know Zelda all that well um, can can take a guess. What was Saria the sage of? Is it A. Earth, B. Plants, C. Forest, D. Trees? What was Saria the sage of? Was it earth, plants, forest, or trees? Let me get that game that I was going to do a review of, too. I think when I asked you the, um, the name, or the number, and you said the number, I, I was thinking about this game. Uh, it's called Lunar. And, uh, Lunar, uh, this is a remake of a place or a, uh, Sega CD game. And, uh, it's the better version of it, in, in my opinion. Um, and it was, it's a JRPG and it's amazing. It was, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time, to be honest. Well, at least the second one is. This is the, this is the first one. There's Lunar and Lunar 2. Um, but yeah, the combat's really fun. Um, the storyline's really nice. Everything about it is great. So there's, there's your game review that you redeemed the other day that I never did. And yes, you guys are correct. It is forest. It is forest. She was the sage of forest. Oh, where's my head? There we go. Good job. Is that 200 IQ? I'm glad. I'm, I'm surprised that you got that, Sexy Cabbage. Good job. Because I know you're not, like, big on Zelda. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. There we go. There's, um... So I think the one in the northwest is um, um, the one in the northwest is is the Rito, um, where we find Va Meadow, which is the one that I want to go to first, because then you get Rivali's Gale, and Rivali's Gale is overpowered when it comes to um, traversing the rest of the world map. So Forest Temple was pretty cool. The Lorax speaks for the trees. That's how I knew it was it was forest. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Hateno Village? Oh, it's all the way down there? I didn't realize it was all the way down there. 
The location is shining. I thought it was in the northeast. My um, no, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Zora. I'm thinking of the, the Lanayru province. <clears throat> Excuse me. The location shining in the on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the calamity. <clears throat> Locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope and Hyrule's of, as, as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. <clears throat> Let's go goof off and get towers and and things and shrines. Um, but first off, actually, let's go. Whoops. Let's um. Something I want to do real quick is go to this. Um, highly a statue here. <clears throat> we have eight spirit orbs. So I can upgrade two, th two things. And I'm thinking one, one, one heart, uh, and then one bit of spirit, um, or not spirit, um, stamina gauge. So let me do that. Let me do a heart container first. So that way I have five hearts. There we go. And then we'll do the next one. We'll do um, stamina. Stamina vessel. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, um, now we need to head down to Hateno Village. Do I have? Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's all the way down there. Um, how do I want to do this? I guess we could just pretty much head straight down, right? Um, first have to get out of the village here. You can go to the meadow as a child and you see the door up. Uh, those broken stairs. WTF is up there. Then you go back to an adult. Oh yeah, that is pretty magical. The way that the way that works. The way that they did that. In my opinion, Phantom Ganon was way more fun than Ganondorf, really. So like the mystery behind it. It's the only temple that you don't really know what its original purpose was. That's true. That is very interesting. I like that as well. It's very, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it is very mysterious. Yeah. All right. So now that I'm actually out of the village, let's, whoops, let's turn around here. Like, uh, let me get to the edge of this here and let me climb these rock shrooms. Whoops. Yeah, or rush shrooms. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I think we'll be okay. Let's just go up here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Mm, actually, I think there might be a Korok seed up all, all the way on the top there. So if they're at the top of pretty much every mountain, there might be a Korok seed up here. So I'm going to climb up all the way up to the top. Unless there's, let's see here. Uh, oh, we'll just see. No? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I went to the shrine up there. 
Okay, well, yep, that is unfortunate, but that's fine. There might be one. Actually, here, yeah, let me go up here. Let me, let me check up here. This might take us a minute, but that's okay. Ooh, I might not even make it, actually. Let me, let me try to, let me try to get up on this, like, flat part up in here. Uh, it doesn't look like I can... Well, maybe I can climb up here. Rest up my stamina here. Maybe? Okay, yep. I'm sure if I probably stopped climbing, it probably would have let me, but that's okay. That's alright. It's all good. So yeah, and like I said before, it is it is really nice to see that Skyward Sword is getting um, a remaster on Switch, um, and hopefully those those rumors are true about the uh, the Wii U ports of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. There it is. Whoops. I get another Korok seed. Yeah. All right. So where are we going? Down here. I'm gonna activate that tower. Uh, it was meant to hide something important. It's in the lost woods. So just getting there would be a pain. Then you gotta go past the monsters in the meadow. Then the temple itself is built like a military defense structure. You're just suit archers the most. Yeah, that makes sense. The torch elevation system is... I'd, yeah, that makes sense. You got a point. Definitely got a point there. So, let me see here. Uh, well, yeah, this tower is... is, is uh, well, here, let me... Let me put a thing on that tower. How close is that? Oh, okay, that's really close actually. So let's let's go ahead and grab the tower while we can here. Oh, is that gonna be another Korok seed? Please give me another Korok seed. Hell yeah! Huh? I'm loving I'm loving getting all these. I don't even remember where to find Hestu though. Who gives you things for the Korok seed, the uh, weapon and armor uh, things? But we'll find him. I don't think he's hard to find, obviously, but. but yeah. Is that a chest? Can I? Hold on. Bye bye. My guardian sword broke though. Uh, here. What do I want to? Oh, I have another one. Uh, let's choose. Let's just use a Boko Club for now. I guess we can try to get this thing out. Oh yeah, cool. What do I get? Oh, silver rupee! Oh, hell yeah! Rupees are actually kind of... I mean, they're not hard to get, but they're a little bit more difficult to come by than... than in, like, most Zelda games. Let's just chill here and recover the stamina a little bit. That's kind of far... Well, no, that's not too far away. We're fine. Whoops, there we go. This might- this is gonna take us a while, but it'll be okay. This game is so huge, though. Like, it's so big. 
compared to like other Zeldas or really just other games on the Switch other than like other than like Skyrim. So assume it's it failed its purpose at some point. The stairs are destroyed way before Ganondorf BS and the place is completely overgrown and served as a military post for knights during the war realizing that if you oh that yeah that makes sense Here, let me um whoops uh, yeah we'll use the boko club and see if i can nope <laughs> i don't have anything to really break this up with that's all right. We'll worry about it later. I'm going to go ahead and mark that shrine there. In fact, where is that in relation? Okay, yeah, so that's getting closer to it. Let's go. Just, just go over here. Climb up. But yeah, no, that definitely makes sense. Ooh. Well, can I not? There we go. What do I need to do? Put it down here? Nice. Got another Korok seed. Yeah. yeah! Sweet. We got five of them so far. I don't remember how much how much it takes to upgrade though, so uh, I'm gonna, I think I can probably scale this. Let me get to the lowest point of it though, real quick. Could have been a home for a map for the Master Sword before the Temple of Time was built. Uh, that's possible too. I think it's hard to tell because like the the landscape of Hyrule has changed so much from game to game. I mean, the timeline has already. Oh, is this a? Uh, okay, no, this is just a. I thought maybe this might be a talus. No, never mind. It is a talus. It is a stone talus. Nope, we're not messing with that. We're not messing with taluses. Nope. Nope, not happening. Bye-bye. Um, it's, it's already hard to exactly make sense of it without, like, reading the, pretty much the whole thing. Which, by the way, guys, if we do get um, up to our first milestone, which is $250 for charity, we're going to read the first part of... Uh, of um Hyrule Astoria Shit Grab the Boko Bow Uh yeah you know what let's use this sword There we go. Probably wasn't worth using the sword, but that's okay. Think and throw, throw far, yeah. <laughs> I definitely can. It's tectonic plates from hell. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's the, what that's what doesn't make sense. Like across the timeline is like it, it just doesn't make it just doesn't make sense to me. Like how how much the the landscape would have would have actually had to change for all of that stuff to make sense. Bye-bye. Actually, here, you know what? Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, God, that was hilarious. 
Okay, yeah, let's not disturb them. Hey, what's up, Prophet? How you doing? Never cared about the timeline. Neither have I. I just... Uh, it's same. <laughs> same. Am I able to get this one? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. We're fine. We're fine. Hateno Tower. It'd be weird if I couldn't get it. Considering this is basically the beginning of the game. There we go. Kind of got annoyed that everyone was so into timeline theories and Nintendo felt... Yeah, yeah. When it's like there was really not a timeline. I mean... I mean, like, I don't... These games weren't made with a timeline in mind. And Zelda, you know, its own... Yeah, exactly. That's like trying to put together, like, a Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest timeline, which I think people have. I think, like, one, like, fan thing exists. Or one... Probably a few, like, a good number of them, but yeah. This doesn't... Doesn't really make... Uh, a whole lot of sense. Like the the only the only one that makes sense is um Skyward Sword at the beginning because Demise gets defeated and he says, you know, it's it's the curse, right? So like um it's it's the curse where he Link and or his hatred, I guess. Um Link and Zelda keep getting re and they're stuck in a cycle, right? That makes sense. It makes sense to put that at the, at the beginning of the timeline. And cut up in the timeline itself. I just like exploring the lore of each title. Yeah. Yeah, that's that that does get interesting. Yeah. Trying to figure out how things came in. Came in being such circumstance. Uh, each a circumstance. Yeah. That can be interesting as well. Um, Although Zelda 1 map looks pretty similar to Death Mountain in A Link to the Past. That, that definitely does. Yeah, you're right. Alright, I'm almost up this. Alright. Anyways, Prophet, how are you doing? It's good to see you. But yeah, if we reach our goal of well, I mean it's it's a part of a milestone of our of our goal. Um, if we reach two hundred and fifty dollars um, in charity, we will read at least the first. I'll probably read. Uh, let me check how much. Let me check. I might I might end up reading before the the split up to that part. Depends on how big that is. Let me look at that real quick. Hyrule Historia. Am I caught up in Zelda lore now? It's fine. I mean, I've literally been playing the entire series, so I've got, like, all that lore, like, going through my head. How about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, let me see here. A table of contents here. A chronology, yeah. So yeah, I could definitely read the the beginning uh, up to the split. See, what I don't get is why they split up where Z where Link loses. Oh, that's a big portion of the map. Hell yeah. Um, I don't like that because what if you never die in Ocarina of Time? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, so. Actually, the shrine's right there, right? Yeah. It's along that way, so yeah, let's go! Um, but yeah, that is, uh, Polygon says it's, it's the, it's the basketball timeline. It's a, it's a timeline where they said, screw it, we're gonna go outside and play basketball. 
Which I find to be hilarious. I love that. Oh, I was scared there for a second. Imagine the downfall is just a what if timeline. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. That's all it that's all it is. What if Link lost? Well the point is that he didn't lose. There we go. Yeah, I'll just run up the, the rest of the way. Here it is. Hateno. Whoa, hey, what are you, what are you? Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. I'm a traveler, dude. Just relax. Hmm? You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the at the general excuse me general store, and the inn is just back there. All right, let's get this shrine here. Oh, I could have picked up that cricket. I wasn't even paying attention. Can you like get a house here, or is that in another village? Was it, was that in Kakariko? Can I get that house? That, that's a cool house. I never actually did get a house. Time travel is tricky and there's really no good way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cause I mean, well, I like and with Hyrule story, like it makes sense to have an adult timeline and a, and a child timeline, right? Um, because you have, you know, you can just leave Link in the future or you can go back to the past and have him continue his journey from there. Um, ooh, hold on. What do we do here? We gotta carry something back. Oh, this. This thing. I remember this. I remember not being a huge fan of this, but that's okay. Like I said, we're gonna do plenty of shrines and stuff, so... Shit. Here. Can I just... Nope. Wait, I'm pretty sure I can still do that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna try to like just ramp it in. Nope. Hold up. All right, let me try to do it the regular way. Yeah, see, it, it goes, it stays down. Hold on. No, never mind. There we go, we got it. We're good. Hey, song, learn the song of storms as an adult. Because you as a kid teach you to the windmill. Yeah. Come on. I don't think I've ever actually done this normally. Can I do, like, is that how it, like, okay, never mind. I'm assuming I walk on this later? I honestly, I don't really remember. Man. You watch that go <laughs> and boom. Well, actually, I think we might be able to actually grab that chest.
I'm not really focused on getting like every single chest from the shrines, but like if I can grab them, then why not, you know? There's no reason not to. Let's get it. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, hold on. What, what terrible bow do I have? Boko bow? Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Phrenic bow. Cool. Uh, now... Ah, oh, crap. I might end up... Hmm. Nope. <laughs> I didn't figure I was going to be able to make that. That's all right. I'll go back to the beginning. Hopefully I don't have to solve the whole puzzle again. Oh, what? What is wrong with his leg? Oh, shit. Um, hold on. Let me... Let me go through this maze here. Am I, I'm not screwed, am I? No. I'm good. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. <clears throat> Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks speaks to the promise of a hero. Here we go. Yes, I just uh just yeeting balls around. That's that's all I need to do. All right, you gonna load? There we go. <laughs> Good. All right, so now I need to go all the way up there. All the way up on the, on top of that mountain there. And of course it's raining, which hopefully won't make what I have to do um, any harder necessarily. Because I remember I need to take the blue flame, which I think is just at the bottom of this. Well, not the bottom of, the, of this mountain, because I'm already like kind of halfway up it, but. Wait. Where is it? Nintendo comes out with the timeline, revised it a, a few times. That makes sense. In its own weird, let's be like DC Comics sort of way. But they put in, put out this game in the best official explanation you can find is it happens at the end. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing now. Um, well, didn't they? Well, so like the Hyrule Historia wasn't written actually by Nintendo, was it? Hold on, who was it written by, exactly? Hold on. I have like the the whole. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> this is an introduction to the history of Hyrule, told chronologically, which weaves together the numerous Legend of Zelda stories. Is it a legend? Is it an accurate history of a of a cycle of rebirth? There is evidence that the story of The Legend of Zelda begins with Skyward Sword. Up to this point, the legends of Zelda have been uh, surrounded by myth and mystery, but now, with the help of the following information, you will be able to discover for yourself the real history of Hyrule. Uh, let's see here. Weaving history. The Chronicle merely collects information that is believed to be true at this time. There are many obscured and unanswered secrets that still lie within the tale. As the stories and storytellers of Hyrule change, so do does its history. Uh, Hyrule's history is a continuously woven uh, tapestry of events. 
Changes that seem incon inconsequential, disregarded uh, without even a shrug, could evolve at some point to hatch new legends and perhaps change the tapestry of the history itself. So the history is not set in stone. That is, that is literally, I just read that from Hyrule Historia. So the history, the timeline is not actually set in stone. Um, where is this blue flame at? Or maybe I, do I have to talk? I think I might have to talk to, um, Pura here first. So like the his, the, so that timeline is based on what we have seen and read in the games. Um, it's not like technically speaking, like Nintendo's official word of the, of what the timeline should be. I don't think. Um, but yeah. Alright. So once I get up here and talk to Pura, she should tell me where the blue flame is that I need. So. I'm thinking that at least. I, I thought it would be down there, but I guess not. I think it, it might need to be turned on, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. The flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Not touch! What up? <sighs> Hello. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it, uh, to keep it brief. Yeah. What's up, Simon? Hello. I imagine you've seen, <clears throat> excuse me, you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, you see you, Cabbage. Thanks for chilling. I appreciate it. Have a good one. We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of number of books, well, hmm. Excuse me. Wait, is that that thing on your on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me how the runes on it, uh, show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and Cryonis. Uh, what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but, hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. Oh, I still need the camera, don't I? Um, yeah. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name? Link, or Lady Impa, caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate would appear. Or will appear. And you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Excuse me. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Miss Director. Is a real Sheikah Slate. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced you to our director. Miss Pura happens to be right there. Oh, that's right. Okay, I forgot. Like, she says that Simon's the director, and then Simon says that she is. I forgot about that. Miss Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it. I have the most utmost, or I have the utmost respect uh, for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to tell him to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. I will, because I know that Miss Pura is actually over a hundred years old. Whoops, come on, talk. Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snippity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? Yeah, I remember. Hmm, I heard the hesitation in your voice. 
even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you uh, safely into the slumber of res re restoration. Did I say resurrection? I think I said resurrection. Um, what, what does she say with the three dots? Hmm, as, as expected. After 100 years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Sure. Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually, uh, it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. Mm, bitch, I got the Triforce of Courage. And to help the one, uh, the one true hero... I, the one, uh, or excuse me, the one and only Pura will, uh, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. Excuse me. All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd, she I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post slumber of restoration. Subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the fa of this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and can you and also use it to light our furnace? The sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that. Allowing us to restore your missing runes. Hmm, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Well, oh well. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for, for that blue flame. Alright, let's go, go, let's go grab the blue flame. <laughs> After we take a quick break, uh, I need to grab some more water and all that. We'll be, we'll be right back. school so many dishes to prepare so many students to meet your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late you grab a biscuit I bet it's a KFC biscuit <laughs> and burst out the door in a hurry <laughs> whoa there are so many cool pipes Bet you've never seen anything like this before like, bitch, I'm a plumber. I see pipes all the time. But yeah, a kill. Is that where is that where I shoot somebody and their HP drops to zero? Because that's never happened for me at all. Okay, that must be the end of the world. Oh, <laughs> do a barrel roll. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> a, a BFF. Alright, he's my new BFF, a big fucking fish. <laughs> oh shit, wait, that's not a dead end. Well, yes, it is. What? Perfect. <laughs> it got too intense. <laughs> This is Sonic the Hedgehog, fast, cool, and full of potential. Use joystick to move, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so this is basically just this, this is Sonic. We know how to play Sonic. We've played a lot of Sonic. Now we don't need we don't need a tutorial to tell me how to play Sonic. <laughs> Great game so far. How do, you, how do you do that? How do you just like completely just ragdoll? If you hit X. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is great. I actually can't get out. I can't get out of here. This is actually kind of hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just me. I'm not a genius or anything. Wait. Hold on. Can I hook shot to this thing? No, because the treasure chests in this game aren't uh, hook shot them. That'd be great. Okay, all right. Now I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's. No, oh, dude. Oh my god. I didn't know that was. Oh my lord, dude. I am so tilted. I used to be that I was really into. Oh shit. Okay, I'm not. I'm not on this. It's not letting me jump. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall, aren't I? I'm gonna fall! <laughs> I wasn't even on it! I wasn't even on it! <laughs> Alright, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe! Let's go! Let's go! Hurry up, hurry up! Oh boy, we're good. Alright, we're back. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna do something here. There we go. That's how, kind of how I originally had it. <clears throat> and it would uh, would have been better to do timelines of each title rather than the franchise as a whole, like keep the games that are directly connected in the same timeline. Uh, but other games have their own timeline. Make it better for devs too, because future games can belong to a particular version of Hyrule so the that that makes sense yeah yeah Oops. Mm. yeah that definitely makes sense I'll get that that other apple later okay so I gotta go down to the furnace Oh, here is here. Here it is. Here's the furnace. I see it now. I see it now. Luckily, we have a torch on us. So, ooh, hold on. Oh wait, is that not? Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. I can't kill the um. Oh shit, would I have killed a dog? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that that didn't work. I just wanted some meat. Rusty broadsword. Oh, I don't have any more uh, spaces for melee weapons. Okay, let's take our torch. Can I? No, I can't. I can't do that. Um... Oh, I gotta go up here. Okay. Perfect. 
<clears throat> I don't think that lighting these are necessary, um, but in case this blows out that I'm going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to, uh, relight easily without going all the way back. So... Which hopefully, I mean, is there another one? Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait. Hold on. You see a lane? Oh, okay, yeah, up here, up here, up here. We're good, we're good, we're good, never mind. I see that shrine up there, but I don't want to take out my Sheikah Slate, because I think I might... Well, here. You just lit that up, so... Cool. Sweet. Light that up. Alright, now we're gonna now now we're now we're on the main path back up, so oh, come on. There you go. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is here. Yeah, it is. Yep, we're good. We're good now. Luckily, it's not raining or anything. I think if it was raining, which actually it might pretty soon here, so... Need to hurry up, but I don't think I can... I think... I don't think I can, um... This message is highlighted, so that means it's special and deserves more attention. Um, hello? <laughs> hello? Alright, there we go. Now we light this, this, this thing up here, this furnace. Ateno Engine Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. There we go. Oh, can I... Do I have to talk to her first? Um, Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guidance Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap! Nice one. Okay then. Sheikah Slate repair underway. Got in stone lock removed. Wow. Now let's do this thing. Sweet. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and album, Missing Files, confirmed. Starting, repair. I didn't realize that we got all that from there. I, I knew we got the camera, but I forgot the pic about the pictures that we already had, as well as the, uh, the Hyrule Compendium. I forgot about that one. Forgot all about the Compendium.
<laughs> See you, Justin. Have a good one. A rune has been added. Pictures. Excuse me. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Uh, okay. I'll take a good picture. Save it. Here, uh, let's get, uh, hold on, whoops. Uh, well, here, let's go, let's talk to her, talk to her. Yes, I took one. I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful creature? <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Oh, new wand division. Okay, nice. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Excuse me. Uh, hmm. Uh, it's just not as... It's just not a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places, uh, excuse me, all the places where these pictures were taken. All oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Excuse me, but don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be missing, could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She, uh, she knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to, uh, bring them either to me or to Robbie at the, at the, at, excuse me, at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I think the Akala Ancient Tech Lab was what I was thinking of. Um, earlier, when I was thinking that this was in the Northwest. I think I was thinking of Akala. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Okie dokie then. So I have to go... Oh, hold up. Oh, here's another torch. Yeah, it's alright. That's alright. Um, so let's go... Whoops. Completed for upgrades. Wait, how do I? Oh, I gotta go back to the map. There we go. Um, the Akala. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta talk to uh, Impa again. Just real quick. Yes, we can make ingredients with uh, with monster parts and all that, which is going to be cool. I actually have yet to cook much uh, in this game, so. Excuse me. Alright, let's go talk to Impa real quick. Huh? I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. How did you hear about that? Now then, let me see. Ah, 
Ha! This is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. It could be that if you visit the locations within these pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I wish to give you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, I'm not gonna do that like right now, I don't think. Um, right now, I'm kind of more focused. Oh, hold on. Let me take out an apple. Oh, yeah, I've got to go to my inventory. Hold. I think there are a few places where I can do this. I don't, I just want to like, whatever. There. Got another Korok seed. Yeah. Six. Let me think, is Hestu... I don't even remember exactly where Hestu actually is. That's okay. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, let me think of what I want to do first. Oh, here's a side quest from this guy. Oh, Pikango, um, or Pikongo. I, I remember this guy. I think I did this side quest uh, last time I played this. Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I love, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Uh. Just between you and me, I hear there's a great fairy found somewhere near this village. I hear it's, uh, it's breathtakingly uh, beautiful. Uh. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow people with some kind of mysterious power. I've been researching it for ages, and I finally have a lead. There's a place that is beyond suspicious. Uh. The problem is I can't seem to find the fountain there. Nothing beats the thrill of tracking down a down a perfect view. As a as a fellow traveler, you understand the sentiment, right? Yeah, I understand. Oh, I knew it. I just knew there was someone like me nearby who appreciates true beauty. Excuse me. Sadly, I can't pin down the exact location of the great fairy fountain. I haven't put it all together yet, but there's a, a there's a suspicious place I have my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sure. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and do this one. I'm not. I don't remember exactly what we get, but oh, it's part of the main quest. But I, I remember doing this um, when I when I it was it was either on like it was on my first playthrough or second playthrough, one of the two. Excuse me. And he's, he's, he can, he can run, um, for an old dude. We're we going past the, the shrine? Okay. Dude, this guy is fit. He's fit. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're exhausted after that. Hills aren't easy for old fogies like me. Sorry, but I don't think I can go on. Your fairy found should be along the path that leads past the, the shrine. That's what I've been told anyway. Heesh, I'm completely out of breath. That always happens right about here. I think I'd better rest for a bit. You go on ahead. And hey, if you find it, don't forget to take a picture. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take a picture. Is it this path here? Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's right here. Uh, now I either have to... Hold on. I want to stop it right where the question mark... Well, here, let's just take it normal. Oops. Here, let me see if I can just take it up close. 
Because there, there was a question mark that popped up, so I, I assumed that... That that counted for something, I guess, but for me, I'm, I just I want to grab some fairies here while while I'm while I'm here. Or I guess at least one fairy's fine, since that other one kind of walked away. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure, I am Great Fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to give to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I am nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. One hundred. Once my powers have been restored, or has once my power has been restored, uh, I can help you do great things, boy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Just unlock this one. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. I don't... I, we don't really need this one right now, but I also want to just have this open so that if I want to take a picture of it, then I can. There she is. Oh. oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I have returned to my former glory. Excuse me. As they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Hmm? What's this? You don't have any clothing I can enhance? Really? Let's take a look, just to be sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Going already? How unfortunate for me. See you later. Okay, yeah, so it might be that I need to take a picture. Okay, yeah. It might be it, I'm not sure. No, the fair God, God. Gosh darn it. All right, that's fine. Let's go report to Picongo uh, here. Uh, where did I? Is this where I? Yeah, this is where he he dropped off right here because his his thing is is right here. Cool. Someday I hope I can see that place spoken of in whispers, uh, veiled in mystery, the Great Fairy Fountain. You, you found it? Really? Are you serious right now? And if you are, then where's the picture? You remembered to bring the picture, right? Yay! That, this is the Great Fairy Fountain? It's beautiful, but I thought it would be more sacred and elegant. Oh, I'm impressed you found it. I wanted to give you something uh, to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Recognize anything? A large gate with a snowy mountain behind it. Oh, I know that place. There's a big mountain east of this village. It's called Mount Luneru. At the base of Mount Luneru, on the west side of Nadra Snowfield, lies that gate. I'm almost certain. I'm glad I knew about that location. I suppose my help, my help was useful then. Yes, it was. Thank you, sir. Find the fairy fountain. Okay, so. Um. Let me see here. So. Um, where's the, what do I have now that's, 
Uh, captured memories. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to do destroy the divine beasts more than the captured memories, but I don't. I don't really know what. I don't know what Impa gives us. Actually, where is the captured memories thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's um. So that doesn't tell us where the things are. So let's just switch back over to the divine beasts. And uh, we're going to go to the northwest to try to find over here. There we go. Oh, come on. Can I mark like a pin there? I guess that pin doesn't really help me, does it? Uh, whoops. Delete it. That's okay. I know where I'm going roughly. Excuse me. All right. So. Uh, hold up. Oh, come on now. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Screw it. I don't care about it. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Once we get off this, uh, this part of the mountain here, whoops, I might not be able to make that. I might have done... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Can I just, like, chill here? No? I'm falling all the way down. Okay, we're good. Yep. Oh boy, I hope that guardian doesn't activate. Oh crap, I could have taken that. Oh well. Or neither of these guard three guardians. Oh wow. Um <laughs> I don't want to be here. I do not want to be here at all. Oh. Oh, they're on horses. Nope. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tame this horse here. Do I have it now? Do I just have control of it? I thought that, I thought that took like a lot longer to do. Now I need to get it registered at a, at a stable here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Didn't mean to do that exactly. is not a bad horse. I mean, I think it's got what what did it say? 3? Yeah, 3 things. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, but I like I said I do need to get to a stable though. Where is the closest stable? Oh, we've got Riverside stable down here. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure where the other stables are, so um, let's get down this mountain here. And then start heading over. So we'll, we'll just head over to the Riverside Stable since that's the only one that I'm familiar with. We'll take this path here. Is there... Are there enemies somewhere? Like where... I don't, I don't know where... It's playing the enemy music. Whatever, it's fine. 
This is probably the tamest the adventuring is going to get. Or is this just horse music? Whoops, 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 whoops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. I went, I kind of got into the, basically the hitbox for that part of the bridge there. All right, just ignore those enemies there. Yep, I see it. Okay. Now we're gonna... We're gonna just cross this bridge here. Hopefully we don't get hit. Call, call all your friends, it's fine. In fact, there might have been another stable somewhere, but I don't know where, and I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time trying to find stables that I can't, that I don't know where they are, so I'm just going to register this horse at this stable, and uh, that is it. And we will go off. Oh, hey, there's Beetle, but I don't have any money, so it doesn't matter. No, no, don't do that. Don't, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, fine, go around. No, no, okay, fine. Back up. No, don't turn there. <laughs> It's a beautiful horse. All right. Ah. Welcome to my stable. We we deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. I haven't seen your face before. Um, I actually do. We don't really need to talk about it. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. If you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. What'll it be? Gotcha. Is this the one? Yes, please. Not a problem. Oh, please don't charge me that much. 20 rupees. Okay, God, I have enough. Thank God. Um, barely have enough. But, uh... We'll call it... We'll call it Charlie Horse. Well, Charlie. I can't fit Charlie Horse, but there you go. It's Charlie the Horse. Uh, yeah, just go. Ahead and we'll we'll take the horse still with us though. Oh, by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Yes, I just press down. But your horse isn't magic. You can't hear if you're too far away. So keep that in mind. Back for a bit. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't have any money, Beetle. I'm sorry. Alright, so let's go... Let's keep going up here, I guess. Uh, well... Hold on. Don't catch cold. I'm gonna try not to. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to go... Uh, let me test the horse's ability to... Basically go up mountains. Like this. So far, it's not being too bad, but... Okay, yeah, now it's basically almost kind of a straight shot, but I think it's gonna get to a point where I can't take the horse anymore. There's a tower up there, though. So that'll be good. I hear the Guardian music, though. Unless that is just horse music. Huh. 
more broke than a pot. I know, right? Yes, I do not have... I have one rupee to my name now. I mean, this is kind of the path to Hyrule Castle, so... Um... It would make sense if there are guardians around. I think that there are guardians closer to it, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> so right now, I'm just heading to this tower here. Which, there might be guardians closer to this tower. Yep. There are. Oh boy. Oh shit. Shit. Hyrule Garrison? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... I remember this from Age of Calamity. I, I, I think I remember this. This area. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All I'm trying to do is get to this tower. Okay. All right. Now this might be a little bit complicated. Oh shit. Just get down. I think this, as I get up here, I think this guardian's gonna see me. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh. Come on. Woohoo, boy! You can't get me up here! <laughs> but that guy can. Now he can't. Good thing I got this extra stamina. Oh boy. Okay, I almost, I almost stopped too, uh, too, uh, too early there. All right. Good job, Link. You made it. Sweet. Um, I actually didn't really do any quests um, when I played it. I didn't, I didn't really do any of the side quests. All of, like, getting the Korok seeds and getting all the shrines and the towers, that was enough for me. <laughs> and even then, I still played it, like, 60 or 70 hours. Hours worth. All right, cool. Regional map extracted. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, let's see here. Going towards this next tower up here. Oh boy. Hey, right, come here. There we go. Oh, that kills him right away. Jesus Christ. I did not realize that. I didn't realize it was going to be that easy. I thought it was a lot harder to kill him. I didn't realize a bounce back would just get him. All right, let me, um, I'm going to, hold on. I'm going to drop a couple of weapons here. Maybe, maybe this thing 
and this thing because they're about to break. So let me grab that. And then there's also Rusty Halberd. Okay, cool. What up, Charlie? Yes, it's Charlie Horse. I just want to get this meat real quick. Cool, cool, cool. Let us continue on our way. On our quest. Probably going to have to get off. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, I'm, I'm maybe not. I think I might be able to. Let me see here. Mm, he might be. Is he able to get up here? Yeah, he is. That's that's my horse. Good job, Charlie. Get across this bridge here. All right, what's up here? All right. Um, nope, not. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, Charlie. What are you doing? Don't you get an updraft from flames? No. Well, this sucks. Uh, actually, it might be easier to avoid these guys if I just go. Ooh, there's a thing down there. Mm, let's see here. Mm. Mm. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. I meant to uh, cancel my climbing, but that, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, let's see here. I should have cooked some food while I was in Kakariko. It'll give me some parts, I guess, but... Oh, well, that's all right. <clears throat> Just go up here. <laughs> get up on this like flat looking part get some stamina no okay all right fine see this is why i need Rivali's gale this is why i'm heading towards um the rito place that province Because once I get Rivali's Gale, traversing Hyrule is going to be a lot easier. It's going to be a heck of a lot easier. So yeah, this kind of takes a while. What, uh... What is that red? Is that just part of the grass? Oh yeah, okay. That was just part of the grass. I was like, why is that red up there? All right, barely got it. We're fine. Can't carry any more melee weapons. Is that the tower that I was looking for? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, you know what? Here, let me put... 
Yeah, it is. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Do I want to be famous? That's a good question. Goodbye. There you go. Moblin arm. Um. So, Bearded, it actually started out really rough. I was dying almost every... to almost every single enemy. Um. But, uh... Now that I'm actually getting hearts, I'm getting better weapons. Uh, it's, it's going a lot better. Going a lot better. Is there a chest up there? Yeah, there's, there's a chest up here. Can I get up here? That's the question. Do I need Revali's Gale? Yeah, I'll come back with the Revali's Gale here. Usually go to the Zora place first. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would definitely, if, if I was to not, if I was to go anywhere else first, it would definitely be the, um, the, the Zora place. Because, yeah, Mipha's Grace is, is really good. <clears throat> Mipha's Grace is, is, is amazing. So, now have the Guardian Sword. Yeah, um, I just am not using it because I don't want it to break super easy. What the shit? Whatever. Screw you guys. I'm done. Personally, go or volley. That Gale, that, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that Gale is so OP. Fucking, are you serious? Excuse me. I guess I'll eat a crap ton. I'm running out of apples. That's okay. I mean, I have some meat, but I'd rather save the meat. I'd rather save it for cooking, but that's okay if I don't if I don't get to. Oh, you just finished the Mandalorian or the making of the Mandalorian? I still need to watch that all. I have watched the first episode and I enjoyed it. Um, I just haven't watched any more. <laughs> Is this the blood moon? Yep, it's the blood moon. That's why those those keys were attacking me. We got a, we got a blood moon going on. Yep, there it is. Here, actually, no. Um, hold on. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had the picture. I think I might still be able to get it. Don't worry, Zelda. I will. Favorite part of this game is where you go to that island. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, man. I didn't get the picture. All right. That's fine. I'll get the other. I'll get the next Blood Moon. I'll get it then. I was going for... Uh, I, was, I, was, I was going for a, a Blood Moon um, Instagram post. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the tower. Ooh, hold on. Is there a bunch of monsters? Oh, no. I'm not liking this. Oh, uh, this is... Uh, see, this is where Revali's Gale becomes useful because I can just... 
Um, I can just uh, just whoosh myself up there. No, I don't. Actually, hold on. Yeah, you know what? Take a picture of it. Put it in the Hyrule Compendium. No, I don't. I don't think that one registered anything. Um. No, I don't. I have no. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to throw it, which is the R button, not the not the A button. Seems legit. Most dangerous time to be outside is the best selfie. Just like a solar... I know, right? Who boy. I'm... I already know I'm not gonna like this one. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try and get that Moblin away. Or that, um... What is it called? It's called something else. Oh boy, it's raining now, though. God damn it. Nope. Bye bye. Oh, there's a shrine down here. Thanks, Rain. I didn't I didn't realize that there was a shrine down here. I took off the shrine radar because I couldn't stand this beeping, but I might turn it back on. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was a shrine down here at all. <laughs> Zoltawa. What is this? Two orbs to guide you. Okay. Okay. Where's the other orb then? I see the first one up here. Can I use... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that one. Um, there we go. Oh, I can't use the... I can't explode the bomb unless I'm... Um... Unless I actually have the, uh, the thing equipped. Yep. Maybe, is that what I have to do? Hold on, let me, let me throw the bomb again. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the orb go? Um... Just hit this? Oh! I don't know where the orb went. I didn't blow it up, did I? I can't... I don't think I can blow these up. Doesn't seem likely. All I was trying to do was get it to move. Maybe, maybe I might have to restart it. <laughs> oh, I see. I get you. Okay, all right. Here. Hmm. 
Mm, that's too... That's not enough. Mm, hold on. Let me see just exactly how high I go. Yeah, that's not very high. I'm thinking that when I... If I actually get the orb into these into these things, then um, I can get it to move higher. But I don't know where the orb went. If it if it despawned, I would assume that it would have reappeared. But maybe not. I guess I'll just restart it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think that I could despawn an orb. Like, completely, like, incinerate it with a bomb. Never seen someone break this before? <laughs> well, apparently Prophet was was in here when I was playing Skyward um, and was telling me that I was doing bosses in my own way. So I was like, it doesn't surprise me. Can I just like knock it down? Yeah, there we go. Knock that down. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that I'm just doing shit that people don't normally see. <laughs> I was trying to use the bomb blast though. I was trying to use the bomb blast to, um, to knock it in, but I'll use an arrow. I don't care. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I, I, I know, I, I do things in like really unintended ways. I don't know if that was the intended way of doing that exactly, but we did it. Get creative with your methods, exactly. That's what, that's what we do in Zelda. We get creative. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, why not? Why not? Why not do things that you're not supposed to do, you know? I seriously don't know where that ball went, though. Because, like, if it would have despawned, then I would imagine, I would imagine that it would have... I, I, I would I, I imagine that it would have uh, stopped. Like, it would have, or it would have, it would have reset, you know? But it didn't do that. Weirdly enough. All right. Now we're getting back on track. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up to the peak of this mountain and I'm going to see if I can glide down to the tower. That is going to be my strategy. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up here. Jesus Christ, this is a huge ass. Uh, is it a chew, chew jelly or whatever? I'll, I'll break my Boko thing on it. Are you serious? That's all right. Uh, what do I have? Uh, let's not use our, our sword. Let's just use a... Yeah, choo-choo jelly. Now I'm wondering if it's going to be faster if I... Just go up here, maybe? And then glide on over? I don't know. 
Let's try it. Hopefully it doesn't rain again. Oh yeah, we can just do this. It's kind of what we did before. Come on, there you go. Let's go up. Well, actually, that might not even work. Hold on. I don't need that. I don't need the chew. Mm. Mm, is my horse able to hear me? Nah, Charlie couldn't hear my call. That's no, all right. That's all good. It might work. It might not. I'm not really sure. We're going to try it, though. I just want to grab... Because uh, uh, there's also going to be a, um, a Korok seed up here, probably, too. So I want to grab that as well. Because why not, you know? Actually, wait a minute. Um, I could probably get a decent distance from here. But we're going to go all the way up to the top because that's just what we do here uh so i guess the very tip top would be up here right oh there's another horse oh well too late now i'm already up here so that's all right i'm not gonna worry too much about it i can uh i can take him over later to, the, to like the stable um oh yeah this is gonna be that's gonna be a lot better but first i want to get what whatever's up here because there's probably i see something up there cover a little bit of stamina Where? Where does the thing spawn at? Oh! Okay, whatever. That's fine. Am I supposed to... Uh, nope. Hold up. Am I supposed to, like, shoot an arrow into that? Am I just supposed to fly into that? I think I'm supposed to just fly into it. There we go. That's all I had to do. I was like, that's not much of like a target thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm supposed to do there, but there we go. We got it. We're good. Get it. Got it. Good. Um, all right. So now... We have this. Oh, this might not really be all that great. Let's get back up here. I think that might actually be better. I might not have enough stamina to punch them. <laughs> Don't hurt the Koroks. You don't punch them in the dick. This will also take some, some rock shrooms here. Or rush shrooms. I don't know why I keep saying rock shrooms. Uh, this ain't gonna be good. No, this is literally pretty much just the same thing. Alright, we'll try it. Oh, no, this isn't gonna be very good at all, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know. No, I think I'm gonna get straight to the base of it and have those electric whiz robes attacking me straight away. Yep. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Mm, I think these might be a little bit higher than I want them to be. Come on. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Recover, recover, recover. Link, take cover, tank cover. Ooh, Jesus. Oh boy. Oh, come on, come on. I don't want to use too much. To, I, I don't want to like waste my stamina or anything. Oh no. All right, you know what? Screw it, screw it. God damn it. I should have, I should have done something to them. I should have tried fighting them at some degree. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Where did we spawn at? Here? Okay, what do we, uh, what do we have that can fight these guys? Um, here, I've got the remote bombs. What kind of... Whoops, not that. Um... I have one arrow. <laughs> I have one arrow. So I guess we'll try it again. Be nice if I could get up there, but I don't think it's... Nah, that's not going to be possible. That's not right, though. If I could just join the, uh... Join the enemies up there. That'd be awesome. I also didn't eat anything. Like I could have, but... Did they notice? Is he glitching? Is he... What is he doing? What is... I don't know what he's doing. Nope, they noticed. Yep. Mm, nope, I didn't mean to do that. He's all the way on the other side. Might be able to get up here then. And these guys are just straight up like glitching out. Or I should say just whacking out. I mean, they're not glitching in and out of anything, but they're acting weird. They're acting very strange. This is a little bit too lucky for my taste. Ooh. Oh, hello. No. Let's eat. Eat. Uh, fine, I'll eat. Um, well, here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's do a Hylian Shrimp, too, for good measure. Where? Oh, there he is. There. That'll leave him distracted long enough. I think, maybe. Possibly. Did that actually work? There's no way that actually worked. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's hilarious. And that is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I'm out of water now, too. Mm, it's alright. Oh, there's a civilian up here. There's a shrine in there, too. Uh, I don't know how far it is away from my, from my path. I guess it wouldn't matter, because I can just teleport back here. But yeah, I just saw a shrine. An unactivated shrine.
There we go. There's the map for, for that. Oh god, excuse me. Sorry about that. That was my acid reflux burp. That's what I call them anyways. Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird man. Boo! Wow, where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. Huh? How did you get up here? Though well, I suppose you could ask me the same question. Yeah, how did you get up here? Like, I had to go through monsters to get up here. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense that you're up here now. I mean, you know. You see, I am dedicated. I have dedicated my life to the study of birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. Oh, okay, so he's been up here the, the whole time. Okay, but my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is the perfect place to observe birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed uh, climbed up here, how will you get down uh, without without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. What? You can fly? You can fly like a bird man? Is that true? I thought it is um, I thought it impossible for a highland to fly like a bird man. Oh, it's more like gliding then? That's uh, still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your your glide distance, and traje trajectory, it might help us understand the science of Birdman flights. Then maybe one day I'll, f I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can do that, yeah. We'll be compensated for your time, depending on how you fly. Yeah, I'll glide for you. Uh, our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come however you are merely gliding not flying making this a rather dangerous research subject oh i don't have any rubies well i have one i have one ruby that's all right that's okay um so i saw this thing down here yeah that's right on the way so yeah let's go can i get on top of this can I get there? Yes, I can! Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to jump and, like, get away, but... <laughs> Alas, that is not what happened. I'm just gonna forget about them, then. Or maybe I should have reacted faster. That's okay, I don't really care about them. I'm just gonna go over to this shrine. Bye bye. Yeah, because this is pretty much right on the way. Oh no, wait, it's not. Never mind. Um, but we can still do it, that's fine. We can still do it. Get this meat. Better than using an arrow. Get to sneak up on this guy. Mm, I'm not too worried about him. I'm pretty much full on my weapons, so I'm not really going to need his weapons or anything, so... Let's just fly over to this thing here. Alright. 
All right, here we go. What is this one? Monia, Monia, Toma. Whoops. Bottomless bog, quagmire that draws you in. Huh. Oh, it's a puzzle one. Drawing uh, par parabolas, parabolas. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take an orb and I'm gonna need to toss it over. All right. Great, just toss it straight over, that's fine. There you go. Here, I was gonna say, toss me over there too. Actually, wait, I should be able to. Nope, okay, never mind. So they're gonna toss that back and forth. Let me get over there. You toss me the same way? Yeah, you can. There you go. No, oh, come on. I should have I should have reacted and glided down there, but no, it's whatever. There we go. All right, what is this? Uh, let me see here. What do we need here? Can I? Hold on. Can I use magnesis and? No? What about stasis? No? Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. This is what I want to do. Well, here, let me break these. Can I? Oh, wait, hold on. I could just do it with, uh, with bombs. I can just take them out. Oh, no, that's magnes- or that's, that's, uh, that's stasis. Whatever, let's just use bombs. All right, I don't, probably don't even have to be all the way up there. Nope, there you go. All right, cool. Um... All right, where did that thing go? Where did that all? Oh, shit. How do I get it down? Oh, boy. <laughs> How do I get that down? I should have, uh, I should have switched these around first. That is becoming evident to me because now I don't have I don't have any bows or uh, or arrows or anything uh, can I throw my weapon come on come on there you go that's one way to do it I guess All right. Sweet, let's go. Sweet. That was awesome.
I might just go ahead and finish up after this here. How many does this give us? Three? Alright. Three's good. Three's good. Yeah, yeah, still four for upgrades. Yep. Still four for upgrades, which is, I mean, I'm glad that they didn't increase it or anything. Like, that would have been bad, honestly. Well, I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been bad. It's just been more challenging, to say the least. So. Yep. Yep, we're going to go ahead and end here. Everybody have a wonderful day, evening, night, uh, you know, wherever and whenever you are. And as always, guys, stay crazy.